We're back for the second inning. Rob Rowan and I'm joined with 2007 Rookie of the Year, Brian Chavez, is that right? And uh, the old man's going to get up, but uh, you were saying uh, that uh, having these games broadcast has been going to be a big help for many ways to the sport, isn't it? It's going to be a great help in, in so many ways because it, uh, it brings attention to everybody. And when it brings attention to everybody, um, you always root for your favorites. You always have friends that are around the country that you can sit and you can play with. And able-bodied or not, we had heroes and, you know, the juniors that are coming up through the league right now have their heroes, so you're always rooting for somebody. Oh, that looks like a nice hit there, Kenny. Got him! Beautiful play there. That was a beautiful play, and uh, that was Pat Lamerson who just, I mean, that Pat, um, who's that over there? Uh, lucky, lucky with that, with that play. Beautifully done, Doyle. Uh, it hit in a good spot, but. Usually that's a great hit, short right. Yeah, because you, you have to turn your body to get to the ball. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a, not an easy throw, even though it's not that far. And Dennis Mason, who's also a veteran, uh, is up at that, and he's a teacher. He's taught for years, I believe, and that, uh, he was a history teacher. High school history teacher. Vietnam vet, and what a nice hit. And that's gonna, oh, nicely caught there for a second out. Evan Thorne out there, he's quick. He's quick in that chair. Right, straight up. Well, Evan Thorne, uh, like I said, I've seen Evan Thorne play um, for Southwest Minnesota State. Yes. Under the, well, under this year, Lou Shaver, but mostly Dale Erickson, who died. Um, uh, he was a great player for them. And he, I think he scored 1,000 points in his career in basketball at the high school, uh, college level. and. Uh, that's a great program. In fact, Lou Shaver wrote a book called Damn Bunch of Cripples. If you ever want to have an entertainment, uh, a plus very deep book. It's got a subtitle that's more, oh, another nice hit. And that's foul. And that's Dave Cristiani, who's a good hitting quad. Yeah, very Catcher. good hitting quad. He's got a great arm too for a quad. He's, he's back there controlling a lot of stuff today. Oh, he's a key to this team. He's taking a breath there. But I, I happen to be reading that book, and it's just a fascinating book. There's just some great gems in it about his experience as an able-bodied person coaching, never having coached a uh, wheelchair team. And uh, nice to hit again. And that might be, look at that, throw in time. And that's three away. Wow, great defense out there. And I think I was warned that the St. Pete yeah. Thanks for a good defensive covers team. A lot, of, a lot of field he can cover. He's very, very agile and quick in that in that chair out in that field. Well, they uh, they didn't get any hits, so they still have their two hits from before, but uh, and no runs, so they're down three runs in this game. And here comes the Saints again. Connor, Connor, his brother Downs, Brent, Brendan's brother is going to be playing. So there we go. Like you were mentioning, played in the juniors. Yeah, national champs. He's a rookie this year. Uh, he's got a little bit of advice there from his coach. Is that Jamie Roach there? Or is that, that the... is, uh, that's Andy Roach. That's Andy that's, Roach. That's uh, Jamie Roach's brother. Ah. They're a big family over there in, in St. Paul. Everybody helps everybody out, especially the new guys that come up, which is great to see. It's great to see new people come out and, and have the same excitement. Well, you know, I... Um going to be having Jamie do a game with me, so um, I've talked to him on the phone. I actually haven't met him in person, so I look forward to um, in the purple there, huh? or whatever. Uh, he's the quad. Number oh, okay, four. number four. Oh, foul ball. Let's see what happens here. This is... Paul's... Um, Mason's a good, he's a good pitcher. Ooh. Yeah, he's pretty shifty. He's one of the, uh, one of the pitchers I sometimes struggle against because he's such a great pitcher. Ooh, nice to hit, but I think 
nice out there from Doyle Man. Caught that one. For the first out. Popped it up. And here comes Dan Price. You know some about Dan. Uh, he's uh, one of the first quads I think it's ever played uh, uh, other than Catchy, he's the second baseman here. That he is. Good utility player. He uh, He's going to Whitewater to coach the women's uh, basketball team. That he is. A lot of experience there. So he'd be the one to ask about whether Tracy's going to be coming back, because I've heard some rumors about that. Because he's either going to have a chance to be work as assistant with Tracy's and some of that opportunity and be on that on that uh, men's program that's so great or um, but uh, playing 13 years all tournament teams uh, he's been the best quad he was the rookie of the year in 95 I mean we've got a serious player here and uh, started the same time as his good friend Scott Berg yep Ron Richardson there, giving him a lot of encouragement to the pitcher. Ooh, that's strike that's two. What you can't do a well, strike three. It's a great, uh, it's a great pitcher like that. He will, he will have you swinging. Yeah, get you confused. Now, Waggy, is that it, Jay Waggy? Yep, Jay Waggy. Waggy. Yes. Ron Waggy. That's a that's a good name. What do you know about Jay? He's a good kid. Uh, had the pleasure of knowing him before our accident, so it's one of those things to see him actually see the both of us and share okay, still being may go foul and that does. So um, he, he normally doesn't start for the team, does he? No, he doesn't. Um, been kind of through a rebuilding year for the Saints and, and pulling their guys together and coming up with the best way possible for them to win. And, we have the pleasure, the Twins have the pleasure of playing the Saints every week, so <laughs> competitively, uh, the Saints team is, it's prime time for them. Okay, that's a nice hit, and that may be in the gap. Oh, he got it under his chair. Base hit. Base nice hit. base hit. Okay, Jay Waggy, and up comes Brendan Downs again. You know, after the uh, game I was doing with the Flyers, <laughs> which is like, okay, um, hit, 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 out, hit, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a little different pace if of the game. Yeah, if you go in bunches, that's just it. You know, you start finding gaps out there, and before you know it, the game takes a turn because you just keep hitting them, and everybody rallies behind everybody else. Get the steam going. Get the steam, That is, and that is really a key to this game is is uh, then we'll get some momentum going and it could take you through the whole tournament. I'd love to know, uh, like I said, where some of these guys, um, what their story about how they came to the sport. I always find that that's so interesting when you start talking to them about what, what was the connection? How do you pitch our... You know, Brendan's been around. Brendan's a great... Oh, Brendan that. plays uh, basketball, Arizona State. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's uh, he's you know what? I actually recognize that name. Yep. Yeah, Arizona State. They were they actually have played. Um, I think they played UTA for the uh, third place. So I have seen Brandon Downs. Thank you for reminding me. A lot of basketball players that make the transition, and you know they're just fast, push hard. Mechanically, it's just a little bit different because you're swinging a bat instead of shooting a ball, but. You know, I, you know, when I saw his name, it kind of rang a bell. A lot of these names ring a bell, and I go try looking back to find what sport I saw him in, the quad rugby, or, you know, there's so many. So, so many different sports. Yeah, but I'll talk about basketball players. Here's Evan Thorne, who flew out in his first one. And he, oh, Doyle could have hold on to that. It would have been a double play. And here comes the play to hold. Got him! Nice play. Is that it? What a beautiful third out that was, play to the plate, and uh, that, when you rush the plate like that, it's a, 
you're just hoping that the ball comes out of the catcher's hand, that collision. It's the only time, it's the only thing you're hoping for when that happens. Well, they got two hits, so that gives them six hits, but still only three runs, and that's the end of the uh, second inning. And uh, we'll be back at this uh, game in, uh, for the third inning in just a minute.